Good morning. It's wonderful to have you here today. My name is Tim Scarf, and I work with X-Ray Glass as the Chief Technology Officer for Innovation. This video will walk you through installing the program by talking you through all of the steps that you need to do, as well as pointing out any potential pitfalls along the way. The most important thing to ensure, first of all, is that you're connected to the internet, because X-Ray Glass will require you at least the first time to authenticate with Google. Now, Make sure you have the details of your Gmail account to hand. You're going to need to be able to verify yourself using your Google accounts. Now, most importantly, please check out the list of supported phones on the NREAL website, and I'm going to flash them up now, and we'll have a link to that in the video description. So going forwards, I'm going to assume that you've already verified that your phone is on the supported list of phones, uh, but if you haven't already, please do so. This is where the fun starts. So I'm assuming at this point you have the Enreal glasses. Of course, we support the Enreal Airs, but we also support the Enreal lights. Um, so um, have your supported Android device on hand. So anyway, uh, fire up the Play Store. We need to install Nebula. Nebula is Enreal's platform for building augmented reality applications. And of course, our program is designed to run on that platform. So um, we search for Nebula, like so. And Nebula is, is this application here, which has this um, black background. Uh, and you can see it says Enreal Technology Limited. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. And away we go, 260 megabytes. OK, so Nebula is now installed. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just go back and I'm going to search for X-Ray Glass. X-Ray spelled X-R-A-I Glass. And there it is right up here. So we'll go ahead and install this. Um, it says early um, internal testing for me, but by the time you watch this video, it would have gone live on the App Store and it would be accessible to everyone. Right, amazing. Now, what we don't do is we don't um, start the X-Ray app directly. We, we start it through the Nebula platform. Now, later on, when you become a bit more advanced, there are some tricks that let you start it directly, but the um, AR environment in Nebula needs to be running in order for our, for our app to run. Let's just do it the simple way to start with. So uh, now we can find the Nebula app that we've just installed. And before we, uh, well, I mean, we, you can run it before you plug the glasses in, but I'll show you what happens. So um, we'll uh, agree on, on the prompts. We need to do some permissions. So um, we just kind of agree to these permissions. So it can record pictures and video, record audio, and um, we're allowing it to make calls and we're allowing it to access media on the device. And we also need to go into the settings and we need to um, check off the Nebula uh, option there. And then we can just go back to Nebula and say continue. And we also need to stop the phone from optimizing the, um, the battery usage. And that's because it's actually quite hard to develop applications on, on the phone because the, the Android operating system is always, always tr trying to perform these optimizations and kind of like killing you from the background. OK, so we've now fired up the Nebula application. And as you can see, there are two modes, AR space and air casting. Now, at the moment, we're, we're focused on AR space, which is the, the 3D augmented reality environment. Now, both of these options are currently grayed out, which means they're inaccessible. And the reason they're inaccessible is you need to plug the glasses in using the USB-C connection. So I've now plugged the glasses in. And what you'll see is that one of those modes will um, turn. Oh, there's actually an option here saying, allow Nebula to access the air. And you can also say, always open Nebula when the air is connected. Let's check that off, because it will save us a bit of time later. So I've just clicked OK. It's now asking me to authenticate with, uh, with Enreal. So I'm going to use my Google account. I'm going to say continue with Google. I'm going to log in. So I've now authenticated. And you can see that both of those options now turn a kind of purple color. And that means because I've plugged the glasses in, we're good to go. We're, we're away to the races. So I'm going to click on AR space. And I'm going to put the glasses on. Now what happens is my phone turns into a trackpad and I now see an animation in 3D space in front of me. Okay, so when you're when you're in this kind of um, 3D Star Trek Enterprise view in, inside the Enreal platform, you use your phone as a mouse pointer. So you can look around with your head, you can use your phone as a mouse pointer and you can use the trackpad to scroll the applications to the right or, or the left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over to the right hand side and I'm going to see the X-ray glass application. I'm going to point to that and I'm going to tap on the trackpad here on the phone, and then boom, 
the X-ray uh, glass application is loading. And again, we've got some permissions that we need to go through. So um, allow X-ray glass to record audio. Uh, so we'll say while using the app and allow X-ray glass to find and connect to um, uh, nearby devices. So Bluetooth devices will allow that. And then I've got the, um, the sign in screen right here. So I'm going to click sign in. And just like we did with Nebula, I'm going to authenticate using my Google credentials. OK, and because I've got two-factor authentication enabled, I need to click OK on that again. OK, so I'm now inside the, um, the X-Ray application, and I've got two options on the landing page. I've got enhanced subtitles. And what that means is, is it requires the glasses to be connected, and it all works inside the 3D world. And I've also got basic subtitles, which will just run on your phone. And that will run even if you don't have the glasses connected. I've got the glasses connected. We want to do the whole augmented reality thing, don't we, folks? So we're going to click on that one. There's a warning, of course, saying you need to have the glasses um, plugged in. At the moment, the application will crash if you try and run this without the glasses plugged in and also AR mode running in Nebula. So we're going to try and make that user experience better in time. So I'm going to click OK. And now we have um, an option where we can start the captions. That The 3D mode has now come up in my glasses. But anyway, I can go ahead and click Start Captions. And now there's a listening icon just in the top right, and I can now see it transcribing what I'm saying. Anyway, um, I know that was quite a lot to take on, so if there's any questions at, at all, please reach out to us on Discord. We'd love to, uh, to help you out with any of your, your uh, problems, and of course we can give you a proper onboarding if you just give us a call. So um, yeah, we really hope you enjoy the technology, and we'll see you very soon. Thank you very much.